Hej Danish Tubere, velkommen til endnu en tankebubble på Danish Tube Podcast. En hurtig abstraktion, som forhåbentlig giver motivation til efterforskning. Tankebubblen. The Thought Bubble. I de fleste kulturer bliver vores benede venner lige så meget en del af familien som børnene. In most cultures, our four-legged friends become as much a part of the family as the kids. Vi tager vores kæledyr med til dyrlægen. We take our pets to the vets. Vi giver dem medicin. We give them medicine. Vi administrerer medicinen. We administer the medicine. Men når vi selv bliver syge, er der 30% chancer for, at vi ikke går til lægen. When we ourselves get sick, but when we ourselves get sick, there's a 30% chance, that we don't go to the doctor. Hvis vi gør, er der en 50% chance for, at vi ikke indgiver medicinen korrekt. If we do, there's a 50% chance, that we don't administer the medicine correctly, or take it correctly. Jeg gentager bare ord, som jeg har hørt sagt, men du er måske enig i, at det er almindeligt at se hundeelskere, der tager sig bedre af deres hunde end af sig selv. Og det kan også være fornuftigt. I'm just repeating words that I've heard said, but maybe you agree that it's normal to see dog lovers taking better care of their dogs than themselves. And rightfully so. Modtaget. Nu er det tid til at modtage et eller andet. Eni. Og i dag skal det handle om ordet eni. Time to receive something about the Danish language, and today it's about the word eni, which means agree. You can say things like fuldstændig eni, completely agree, helt eni, totally agree. Then there's a few different ways that this word is used. You can, for example, um, we could take the verb, sort of phrasal verb, <laughs> entire thing that would be obligini med selv om, to agree with yourself about something. Almost like to convince yourself, to make the decision that you're going to do something. For example, jeg blev enig med mig selv om at lade tingene ligge. I've convinced myself, agreed with myself to let things Lie. Og være enig med nogen. To agree with someone. Jeg er enig med dig. I agree with you. You can also agree with something. For example, at være enig i noget. Notice I used the word i this time. Det er jeg enig i. I'm in agreement with that. That I agree with. Det er enig i. You also have the opposite. Uenig. Disagreement. I disagree. Fuldstændig uenig. Helt uenig. Jeg bliver uenig med mig selv om at lade tingene ligge. I'm in disagreement. I'm not letting myself, uh, hmm, letting things lie. Strange example. I appreciate that. Lad os fortsætte. Let's continue. Opsummering. Summary. Så hvad er det ved vores kæledyr? Det får os til at handle på denne måde. What is it about our pets that makes us act in this way? Når jeg tænker på min fjerbenede ven Jack, så er det min erfaring, at jeg bliver imponeret over hans evne til at tilgive og glemme. It is my experience when I think about my four-legged friend Jack, that I get impressed by his ability to forgive and forget. Misforstå mig ikke, det er meget muligt, at han simpelthen mangler nogle neuroner. <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. Misunderstand me, me not. Uh, it's very possible that he's just in need of some neurons. Og det er tydeligt at se, når vi går en tråd rundt om bloggen, hvor han ikke kan klare at gå i en lige linje. Men der er mere bag det. That is clear to see when we take a walk around the block, and it's not possible to walk in a straight line. But well... There's more to it. Børn er sammenlignelige. Children are comparable. Hvis du er heldig, hvis du gør tingene rigtigt, tilgiver dit barn altid dig. Og det vil han eller hun gøre ret hurtigt. If you're lucky, if you do things right, your child will always forgive you, and he or she will do it pretty damn quickly. Kærligheden mellem os og vores kæledyr, og kærligheden mellem os og vores børn, 
er for det meste ubrydelig. Love between our, us and our pets and the love between us and our children is for the most part unbreakable. Nogle gange bliver jeg vred på min hund. Jeg mister lidt forstanden. Han kryber ind i et hjørne og vil, at det ikke er et godt tidspunkt at udfordre mig. Sometimes I get angry at my dog. I lose my patience a bit. He cowers into a corner and he knows now is not a good time to challenge me. På trods af dette ønsker jeg ikke, at vores forhold skal være baseret på frygt. Despite that, I don't want our relationship to be based on fear. Så jeg retter hurtigt op på det. So I, I quickly make amends. Jeg går ned på knæ og giver ham en kram. Han er parat, villig og glad. Glad for at modtage min hengivenhed. I get down on my knees, I give him a cuddle, he is ready, he is willing, and he's happy to receive my affection. På samme måde kan det nemt blive min søn, der modtager min urimelighed. Likewise, my son can easily be the one on the receiving end of my unreasonableness. Jeg må hele tiden minde mig selv om at være som vandet. I have to constantly remind myself to be like water. Du skal hverken gøre eller sige noget, som du vil fortryde. You should neither do or say anything that you will regret. Og det er svært. That is difficult. Selvfølgelig er jeg et menneske. Of course I'm a human. Og nogle gange håndterer jeg ikke tingene på den bedste måde. Sometimes I don't deal with things in the best way. Min søn er imidlertid altid klar til at acceptere min undskyldning og svare, at han elsker mig tilbage. My son is, however, always ready to accept my apology and to respond that he loves me back. Jeg vil ikke gå så langt som at sige, at kærligheden mellem en far og en søn er ubetinget. I wouldn't go as far as to say that the love between a father and a son is unconditional. Alt har sine grænser. Everything has its limits. Men det er bestemt en hård kærlighed og knække. It is decisively a hard love to break. It's a tough love, you might say. Og venskaber som disse er svære at finde i livet. Friendships like these are hard to come by. Folk ændrer sig, people change, som regel på en positiv måde, men det medfører en splittelse. Usually for the better, but this brings with it a divide. Folk mister interessen, people lose interest. De går hver sin vej. Go their separate ways. De holder op med at tale sammen. They stop talking. Tingene kommer i klemme. Things get in the middle. De falder fra hinanden. They fall out. De skændes. Fight. Bliver uenige. Disagree. Det de så ikke gør er at forsone sig. What they don't do is reconcile. Det kan være på grund af stolthed. It can be because of pride. På grund af smerter, på grund af frygt, på grund af skam, på grund af nødvendigheden. Because of pain, because of fear, because of shame, because of necessity. Vores hunde oplever også komplekse følelser, som for eksempel frygt og smerter og endda skam. Our dogs also experience complex emotions such as fear and pain and even shame. Stoltheden kommer dog ikke i vejen. Pride, however, doesn't get in the way. Den forhindrer ikke chancen for et fornyet og smukt forhold. It, it doesn't get in the way of a chance for a renewed, a beautiful relationship. Menneskelig interaktion og venskab er uforlignelige. Men hundens selskab er yderst værdifuldt. Human interaction and friendship is incomparable. But the dog's company is extremely valuable. 
Hvis du ser godt efter, kan du lære en masse af din fjerbenede ven. If you watch closely, you can learn a lot from your four-legged friend. Thank mm-hmm. you.